Spirit of Week Out, the prophesied of downfall of the sinful kingdom known as America. Uh, 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 Howard Zimbabwe, Lions of Howard Zimbabwe. 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 Howard Z
should be reproved. Gone. So everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, man. You know, especially two thirds of our people, man. They follow right after the heathens, all right, trying to go down about their ways. When the Lord Yahweh <clears> brought <throat> me, I was shot, established his ways already, man. So they're choosing the ways of the heathen. All right. So they'd rather go down that path than take heed to the Lord Yahweh brought me, I was shot, man. That's why they rather speak those that's why they rather for us to speak those smooth words, all right? Prophesy deceit. That's what they want to hear according to Isaiah chapter 30, man. Get it? You can grab it. But he that do the truth cometh to the light that his deeds may be made manifest that they are wrought in your house. God, but he that doeth the truth cometh to the light, man. Like scripture says, my sheep shall hear my voice. All right, a wise man will obtain it to a wise counsel. So when we hear all of the brothers up here, including all of us up here, man, hey, once we heard this truth, hey, we built upon it, man. We kept going with it, man. You know? Hey, we built upon that what? You got it. This is Isaiah chapter 30, verse 9. This is a rebellious people, lying children, children that would not hear the law of the Lord. Come on, two-thirds of our people are rebellious people, man. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And they're confusing the face as well. All right? They're rebellious people, all right? And when you go into that word rebellion, it means to wage war. So with that being said, by you rebelling against the Lord, you wage some war against them, man. So with that being said, hey, the Lord, the, the, the king of war, the Lord of the, the Lord of war, hey, you're not gonna win that battle, man. All right, that's why two it's prophesied for two thirds of our people to be cut off. Which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophets prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, and prophesy deceit. Come on, man, they tell it, they, they, they say it to the prophets, to the seers, see not. All right, why they don't want us, they don't want us to get out here and, and, and present. What we see, that's why the Lord, once again, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, told that's the measure of the time diligent in itself. So they don't want to they don't want to see the things that are coming to pass, all right, when we get out here. That's why Galatians 4 and 16. Am I therefore your enemy because I tell you the truth? They don't want to hear it, man. The truth hurts accordingly, man. So with that being said, they don't want to hear it. They want to hear those smooth things. They want to hear that deceit. You know? And that's and that's two thirds of our people that are in that are in the same place as as um as all these other nations. Because um, not only did he tell us to measure the times, but he told us to measure the um, house of, um, of Israel and the house of Jerusalem. According to Revelation 11, we're supposed to measure according to these scriptures. But he said that's, that's, that's without the court or not in the temple, measure it not. All right, so two-thirds of our people can't even get that measurement because why are they going to be on the side of the wicked? All right, so, and, and so they rise up against. So, so the two prophets that tormented these other nations is also tormenting two-thirds of our people. The so two-thirds of our people weren't conformed to the ways of the wicked. This is uh, Jeremiah chapter 35, verse 15. I sent also unto all my servants, the prophets, rising up early and sending them, saying, Return ye now every man from his evil way, and amend your doings, and go not after other gods to serve them. And ye shall dwell in the land which I have given to you and to your fathers, but ye have not inclined your ear, nor hearkened unto me. So basically, so it's a beckoning, a calling out to the children of Israel from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai before he comes and destroys this place. But two thirds of our people are going to turn a deaf ear to the calling of the Lord. Go ahead. Okay. This is the book of Sirach, chapter uh, 7. I'm going to start at verse, verse uh, 29, but the point is in verse 30. Okay. It says, Fear the Lord with all thy soul and reverence his priests. Love him that made thee with all thy strength. And forsake not his ministers. So the point is, forsake not the Lord's minister. All right? Because just like the time of old, the Lord rides up his prophets to go out to uh, to uh, warn his people of the upcoming destruction, man. So this scripture is written in here to for our people not to forsake his ministers, man. Because he, he said what? He showed off his word unto his, 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 he showed off his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. So we the ones... I right, start with Pastor all the way all the way down. Know the upcoming uh, end prophecies of what's going to happen here in America, man. And and if you can hear and understand, it's really not us speaking. It's the voice. It's Yahweh speaking. All right. So he told his son everything he's going to do, and his son from then related unto the, the ones that trust in his name and know that he was sent. Second Chronicles chapter thirty six, verse fourteen. It says, "Moreover, all the chief of the priests and the people transgressed very much." After all the abominations of the heathen, and polluted the house of the Lord, which he had hallowed in Jerusalem. Con, man, what they do to this day, man. All the after the heathen, that why scripture says, if he not thou oppress him, neither choose none of his ways. But guess what? <coughs> They're choosing their ways, man. Heavy. All right. 
It says, and the Lord, Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh, Shem, God of their father sent to them by his messengers, rising up at times and sending, why? Because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. So come, man, that's that warning before destruction that the Lord has given, man. But guess what? Two thirds of our people, all right, they're not taking that warning light. They're taking that warning lightly, all right? They're not taking the heed to it. You so, said, uh, said despise. Uh, it says that the Lord, God of their fathers, sent to them by the messengers rising up the times and sending because he had compassion on his people and on his dwelling place. Con, eight, so, con yeah, despise wasn't in there. Constantly. All right. So uh, with that being said, that's what two thirds of our people doing to this day, man. They don't want to take heed to the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. So with that being said, that's why the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, guess what? He says he's going to nub you to the sword according to Isaiah chapter 65, verse 12, man. Why? Because you chose that one and you delighted not. Yeah, I appreciate that. This is uh, Sirach 7 and um, 15. Hate not laborious work, mm. Mm -mm. neither husbandry, which the Most High ordained. Number not thyself among the multitude of sinners. Mm. Go on. So remember that wrath will not tarry long. Go on. Hate not laborious work, man. Constantly get out here. Be apt to teach, as scripture say, man. All right. Uh, 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 uh. Be constantly uh, uh, instant, instant in season and out of season, man. Constantly doing the will of the Lord. Yahweh will me our side. You can read that second verse again, Babakasha. That's twofold, too. You know, they, they hate the workers, too. Come on. Oh, oh, oh. Sirach 7 and 16. Get the point. Good. No, number not thyself among the multitude of sinners, but remember that wrath. Will not tarry long. Con, number not thyself against uh, uh, amongst the multitude of sinners, man. Because remember, wrath will not tarry long, man. Hey, uh, 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 like scripture says, uh, 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 evil, evil communi evil, uh, 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 company, uh, corrupt good communication, roughly paraphrasing, man. So, with that being said, by you being numbered to them, all right, hey, you putting yourself in the Lord's state, man, all right. Like scripture says, what does the uh, righteous have to do with the ungodly? We have nothing to do with them, man. Proverbs 29, verse 12. If a ruler pays attention to lies, all his servants become wicked. Gone, man. Say, hey, if a ruler hearkens to lies, all his servants are wicked, man. So with that being said, you get to by association. Why? Because you're speaking to the, uh, 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 your, 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 your ruler has rule over you, man. He's the one feeding you, uh, uh, feeding you. Right here, you got these false prophets, all right? Hey. So if you listen to them, you're wicked. You're wicked by association, all right? Mm -hmm. Every one of them go off in doctrine. A lot of them don't even call upon the true name of the Lord, man, which is the Father name is Yahweh, which means he exists, and the Son name is Yahweh Shah, which means he delivers. Who are people eagerly call Jesus Christ, man? You know? Ye are of your father, the devil. <laughs> God. <laughs> I appreciate it. I got appreciate it. Look at Isaiah chapter 55, verse 7. Let the wicked forsake his way, and the unrighteous man his thoughts. And let him return unto the Lord. Come on. Let the wicked forsake his, forsake his way and, and, and his thoughts, man. Return to the Lord. So take off that mortal man and put on the immortal, all right? Take off that uh, uh, worldly clothing and put on the Lord's righteous clothing, you know? So turn back to the Lord. Repent. All right, you go up to verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found, man. Hey, because that time is so, surely but slowly but surely closing, man. You know, hey, we're about to come upon the famine of the word, man. God, because what it says, the previous scripture that the other word was, Slow down. It says, the should not tarry long, man. So, Yahweh Shai, who the world even calls Jesus Christ, he is the one bringing that wrath. I man. keep telling you, take my mind down like a pop into the holes, man. All right? Just cry. Trust me. Trust me. You got it. You still got it. So, put up Jeremiah chapter 18, verse 11, when it shall house the Lord bringing this destruction, man. It says, uh, now there, now therefore, go to speak to the men of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem, saying, Thus saith the Lord, Behold, I frame evil against you and devise a device against you. Return ye now every one from his evil way and make your ways and your doings good. God, I just brought it out to say, man, the Lord sends evil and his destruction, ultimately for the wicked and all the two thirds of our people, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, because they have joined hands with the wicked, man. But it says, uh, repent and make your ways and your doings good, man. That's how, uh, mm. that's your get out of jail free card, man. Go ahead. Get out of the street free card. I just said, right. That's how you keep yourself from being numbered. Yeah. All right.
I got a precept. Yeah, this is Baruch chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandment of Yahweh and the law that endured forever. All they that keep it come to life, but such as leave it shall die. Turn ye, O Jacob, and take heed of it. Walk in the presence of the light thereof, that thou mayest be illuminated. Give not thy honor to another, nor things that are un that are profitable unto thee, unto a strange nation. Come. So, well, go ahead. Slack Two thirds of our people are turned away from the law, man. They're not even trying to keep it. All right, they're out here uh, 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 calling upon false gods, different deities, and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> spoke his ass up. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, <laughs> Con, man, and, and eating abominable foods. All right, uh, 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 spiritually and physically, man. You know, uh, 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 once again, for new false prophets right there, eat from their tables. You can't eat from the Lord and from the Lord table of devils, man. You know. So with that being said, hey, they, 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 they're turning up, they're turning away from the Lord, Yahweh Bashi, Yahweh Shah, instead of turning to Him. Let's see. Back up the brother's point. Um, this is a uh, Sirach chapter five, verse two. It says, follow not thy own mind and thy strength to walk in mm. thine heart. So don't follow your own mind. Don't follow your own strength. Don't follow in the ways of sin. Don't do what you want to do. Do, do according to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai because going outside of his will and doing the things that he does not want, you're going to number yourself with the sword. You're going to oh. be numbered with the oh. sinners. And the sinners are going to get destroyed. They're going to get judged because two thirds of our people who are sinning are not obedient or being obedient to Yahweh What's good to say, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. So what you think is right is leading you to your actual demise, man, leading to your actual grave, all right? One second. Uh, second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face, and turn from their wicked ways, then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. Come on, man. Hey, so, hey, if two, if our people turn back and repent to the Lord, y'all will buy some y'all with man. Hey, he'll heal this place. He'll heal this land, man. Hey, but guess what? They're not, man. You know, it's prophesied for two-thirds of them not to turn back, all right? So with that being said, the ones that are going to turn back, hey, they're go we're going to be healed. Y'all will us up. We're that number, man. You know, the Lord, y'all will buy some y'all is going to make sure we're straight. He's going to make sure... We're, we're, we're good in that day. Why? Because like scripture, like, like like it says, a man don't work, don't eat. All right. So with that being said, like in Isaiah chapter 65, verse 13, hey, behold, my servant shall eat, but you shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but you shall be thirsty. Why is that, man? Because we're doing the things that are pleasing to the Lord. Yeah, we'll buy some y'all with man. Because yeah. so, the Lord said, if you love me, keep my commandments, man. All oh. right. And love is an action word, man. So you just don't yeah. say with your heart and don't show with your actions, man. Go on. Like Sirach 428, man. Strive for the truth and to death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. So if you're fighting for the Lord, you're damn sure right. He's going to fight for you, man. Why? Because he's a man that he needs not to lie. So therefore, he's going to stand ten toes on this word, so we need to stand ten toes on ours. All right. This is John 4, 23. But the hour cometh, and now is. Oh, getting you back, back on to your point. So worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Come on, man. Hey, so the true worship is going to worship the Father in spirit and in truth. And what's the spirit of the Lord according to Revelation 19 and 10, man? The spirit of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy, man. So therefore, if you're not getting out here warning about warning the people about the things that are about to come before they happen, hey, you're not of that spirit of the Lord, man. You're not of the Lord, all right? You're the, uh, uh, a devil, a deceiver, man. You know, you're not of the Lord, all right? Because, hey, with that being said, we got to warn our people, all right? So they can prepare themselves for the battle. Yeah. Um, real quick, real quick. Huh. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshippers <laughs> shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. Con, man. Hey, and, 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 and it's most definitely that time, man. You see the righteous standing boldly as a lion out here, man. Constantly going in on the scriptures, all right, in truth. All right, we're not out here wavering on it. Like scripture says, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So with that being said, we're getting out here standing firmly on this truth, on this solid foundation of the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. Going correctly to doctrine, man. Not saying that the mark of the beast is a damn cell phone embargo, uh, 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 the ash on your damn forehead, none of that, man. Ash on the forehead. Yeah, I heard that. <laughs> God damn. Man. God is a spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So come, man. So, hey, 
The Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is a spirit. So if you worship him, you must worship him in spirit and in truth, man. You can't teach the truth if you don't have the spirit of the Lord, man. So therefore, you can't have one without the other. You can't have the truth without the spirit. You can't have the spirit without the truth, man. So therefore, you have to have the spirit of the Lord to get out here and tell the truth, man, which is the spirit of prophecy. So therefore, if you're not out here prophesying, you're not of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. All right, quick interjection. He got it. He got it. He got it. Yeah. This is Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 20. It says, But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak. Huh. On, uh, it's like uh, it. Uh, 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 ISUPK. Goddamn, uh, 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 Watchman of Israel. Goddamn, uh, what's his name? Adam Abbott. You know, speaking in the name of the Lord. All right, hey, but the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has not commanded y'all to speak, man. Especially I used to be gay, you a bunch of niggas, man. Uh, 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 once again, uh, Jacob's trouble is gay. Where, where, where could you get that from, man? You know, it makes no sense. How could you even pull that from scriptures? Or saying they could pop their women in the, in the anal, man. You know, that's side of me, man. You know, uh, 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 you keep going with that, Babak It says, verse 21, so, no, verse 20 says, I, but the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name, which I have not commanded him to speak, or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. So in the name of other gods to his will, man. Yep. Nate the snake, TD fat, Kate Scruffalo, steal your dollar, man. <laughs> hey, the Lord didn't command y'all to speak, man. So therefore, you're going to be numbered to the sword, man. Hey, that blood is on your hands, all right? Leading two-thirds of our people astray, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, all right? And the confusion of faces. All right, you're turning them away from the Lord instead of to the Lord, man. All right. All right. Verse 21, and if thou shalt say in thine heart, how shall we know the word which the Lord has spoken when a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord? If the, right. it's like it. it's like so, hey, if you if you asking, oh, how do we know which which prophet is of the Lord, man? This is how you know. Because once again, the spirit of the Lord is the spirit of prophecy, man. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if the things that the prophet is not speaking, they don't come to pass, hey, you don't got to worry about it, man. Here's a crystal no blanco. <laughs> hey, so just like how the elder brought out earth, just like how the elder brought out earlier, man, um, those that worship the Father must worship Him in spirit and in truth. All right, so now um, the tr the prophecies prove that the word of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is true. So he, He's showing you how you how you find the prophets of Him. All right, on. that's why He said His words should not return to Him void. Let me get the because they're going right to right accomplish which what He said, man. Verse 22, it says, When a prophet speaketh in the name of the Lord, if the thing follow not, nor come to pass, that is the thing which the Lord hath not spoken, but the prophet has spoken it presumptuously, thou shalt not be afraid of him. So come, man. Hey, so that means he was speaking at his neck, man. So you don't have nothing to worry about. Why? Because he's speaking to you, uh, 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 uh deceit. He's prophesying deceit, man. Oh, yeah, we're not going to go through any great, great tribulation before we enter the kingdom. But scripture clearly states that, uh, uh, to break the tribulation, shall you enter into the kingdom of heaven, man? All right, Jacob's trouble, Jeremiah 30 and 7, man. Hey, we got to go up and through that before we get to it, man. So, hey, with that being said, he's a liar, man. All right, it's June. Ain't no microchip. All this is being uh, accounted for. You should be justified by your sins, man, and your sins not mm. adding up to the scriptures, all right? So, therefore, hey, if you don't turn back and repent, you will be numbered to that sword. Mm -hmm. Your name need not to be spoken because you know your actions, man. Uh, this is uh, Romans chapter 8. I'm going to. <laughs> this is this is Romans chapter eight verse five. For they that are after the flesh do mind the things of the flesh, but they that are after the spirit, the things of the spirit. So come on, man, those after the flesh are going to mind the things of the flesh. They're going to try to please the flesh, man. They're going to do things to incite themselves, or they're going to do things to please themselves. All right, but us of the spirit, we're going to do things to please the spirit. We're going to do things to please the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shab, man. So with that being said, by us pleasing the Lord, hey, he's going to watch out for us, reverting back to the Sirach chapter 4, verse 28 again, man. Strive for the truth and to death, and the Lord shall fight for thee. So, hey, doing the, hey, fighting for the Lord, he's going to fight for you, man. Verse 6, but to be carnal-minded is death, but to be spiritual-minded is life and peace. Mm. So come, man, to be carnal-minded is death, man. So, hey, to be worldly minded is death. Why? Because you're caught up in this world, man. So, therefore, you want this shit to prolong. You want this shit not to end. All right? So, therefore, you're going to end with it right as soon as it ends. All right? By the way, of those ICBMs, according to Revelation 9 and 16, those 200 million missiles, all right? Because, but, shall I get it? You got it. Because this carnal minded, shall I get it? Because the carnal mind is enmity against the Most High, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. 
So then they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh. Khan. So Khan, man, hey, the carnal mind is an enmity against the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Hey, so the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is that positive, and the carnal mind is a negative, man. They don't attract. They they separate. They they, they repel from each other, man. So with that being said, hey, if you're carnal minded, you won't be attracted to these scriptures. Why? Because you want to be attracted to this world. Damn, what, what that boy, uh, 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 Gucci man doing? Lil Wayne, you worry about the things of the world, but not the things of the Lord. Y'all will buy some y'all side. You don't worry about what's going on in the scripture. Right. Right, about right, in America. Right. Right. <laughs> right to do wickedly. <laughs> Verse 9. But ye, are, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so, be that the spirit of Yahweh by Shemya was shy to well in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of Hamashiach, Yahweh shy, he is none of his. Mm. So come on, man. Hey, we're not of the flesh, but we're of the spirit, man. That's why we get out here uh, 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 mightily and, and push forth this truth, man. Get out here week in and week out, all right? Stand stand firmly for the Lord. Yahweh will watch him, Yahweh will shine, man. It's the wisdom of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 1. Love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth, think of the Lord with the good heart. In simplicity of heart, seek him. Simplicity of heart, meaning one track mind, keeping everything. He said, love me with your mind, body, and all your soul. Those things combined. So if you understand that these bodies are temporal, right, and the Lord's trying to build you up eternally, he's building up the spirit. Because guess what? Okay. Guess what? He's going to judge that spirit when the spirit goes to the heavens. All right? And you're going to come out here and live out that judgment. All right? And fist pumping ain't going to help you. But you gotta, if you're an Israelite, you gotta turn back to your Alba Shim Yahweh. He caught me good, too. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't thinking. He caught me real good. But just think about it. These bodies are temporal. So why would you want to do anything that, that's that's um pleasing to the flesh, man? The, the spirit lives forever. But see, that's, and that's the point. The Lord's trying to expose that to you. Like, listen, I'm trying to give you eternal life, and this is the way to get it. But our people try to go all types of different ways, and they, they want to go to the wide gates. They don't want to go down that straight. But the Lord is telling you how to get to him, but y'all don't want to listen, bro. Because uh, uh, flesh and blood should not enter into the kingdom of heaven. Right. So to, to, to focus on the flesh, to focus on the outward appearance and not the inward appearance is not going to get you to the kingdom, man. And that's what Esau wants you to focus on. Esau, he, he gradually stimulates your mind. What does it say in um, Proverbs 12 and 26? It says, the righteous are more excellent than his neighbor, but the ways of the wicked seduceth them. The Lord, um, Esau's not forcing our people to be wicked. He's enticing them to be wicked. He's seduced, just like the serpent only seduced Eve. But the Lord said, what he said to Jeremiah, before you, I formed me in the belly, I knew thee. So Esau would make you think we started in the flesh, but no, we started in the heavens and the spirit with the Father, man. We all by Shimei was shining the holy angels. So once you have that mindset, when you get here on this earth, you understand it's just a temporal journey to, to live out a mission. All right? Uh, John 14 and 6. Uh, Yahweh said unto him, Yea, I am the way, the truth, and the life. We're in a dark place, man. Everybody, our people don't even know that they're in a dark place, man. They look at Esau as the light. But what, what is he according to um, uh, Isaiah chapter 14? Lucifer. He is the illuminated one, but his light is darkness. But the true light comes from Yahweh, Shem, Yahweh, Shai. Life, it's like you. But either way, it's another scripture that says this is the light and the light. Come the same thing. Come Water. Says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Mm. No man. Come up unto the Father, but by me. Mm. If ye had known me, ye should have known my Father also, and from his forth ye know him and have no, and have seen him. So if you know if you know Yahweh Shai, you know the Father, because he was sent by the Father. All right, so to get a, you want to get an understanding of the Most High, you got to understand his son. That's the order he set it up in. But guess what? He put prophets out here just prophesying in truth. To get to get the ones that are chosen closer to him. Yeah. And that's why it's important that the scripture says, it says, well, can't see the son, at least he be angry. Yeah. So once again, you know, the, the father sent us to Yahweh Shai to, to, uh, to, to, um, uh, for us to make peace between us and the father, man. You got to go through Yahweh Shai to get to Yahweh, man. All right. There's no ways ands about it. You got to call, you got to honor the son as you honor the, the father. Uh. This is John 10 and 1. <laughs> verily, verily, I say unto you, he that entereth not by the door into the sheepfold, but cometh, climbeth up 
some other way, the same as a thief and a robber. But he that entereth in by the door is the shepherd of the sheep. Come on. So basically, hey, if you're going, if you're trying to get to the Lord through another route instead of the, through the uh, path that He set, man, hey, getting out here presenting your body as a living sacrifice, all right, being many back to the marriage, all right, uh, 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 hey, uh, uh, keeping the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of your ability. If you're not trying to do it that way, hey, you you, you consider what it said as a thief, yeah, all yeah. right, hey, man, you consider the thief. Why? Because you don't have that proper invitation to be in here, man. All right. It's the book of Psalms 37 and 21. The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, mm. but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. Mm. Right, you know, and that's what we do, man, being uh, the so-called bump camp, all right, or the faith-based faith -based Israelites. Mm. All right, we uh, freely receive this truth, so we freely give it, man. Well, you got mm. these uh, other ABCD camps, all right, they, they, they out here for profit and financial gain, man. They're getting their increase on this side. And that's how, that's how I was talking about Israel as a whole, man. We like like the scripture says, um, the hires um that, that reap down your field what you have kept by fraud, and, and we and we don't speak back against that. All right, we show mercy unto Esau, two thirds of our people. We lift up the skirt to the devil, they want to pull it right right back down. All right, so but they don't show mercy unto us. They go, they're they're the accuser of our brethren day and night, bro. Like they they put this enticing stuff and flash it in our face to cause our people to go, uh, to err. They go right back praying to the devil. See, they don't want to conform to their laws to the laws of their God. They want to conform to us. So he he seductively does it. He saw doesn't force our people into wickedness. Right. Yeah. They um. Well, we teach about righteousness. We teach about freedom. Go ahead. We teach about the kingdom, salvation for our people. But the so-called white man, the devil, called us terrorists last week. Ain't right. Go ahead. You know your people called us terrorists last week? Yeah, man, you got to check it out. Oh, shit. That's right, man. That's right, man. To hell with him. That's right. All right, all right, all right. You got that on tape. Cut. Make that a clip. Hebrews 11 and 6. But without faith, it is impossible. He saw the so-called white man get ready to go into slavery. People need to know that. He ain't fighting for rights like the Black Panthers did so they can gun us down. The Lord said we got to do it this way. This is how our people will be free. Through knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Teaching them about the law, statutes, and commandments. How to be righteous, you know? Stop eating pork. Stop being uh, uh, homo, homo sapiens. <laughs> well, that's, that's true because to be a human on this in this realm, you have to be wicked to be accepted. So that's exactly true. That's exactly true. That's why I like how he spit that. You know what I'm saying? Time, the, the Lord is, is against this place. It says the, uh, the the father and the son is not of this world, man. So the things that this world teach sure. don't teach of the heavenly scriptures, man. Right. But they have the nerves to put on the back of a dollar and saying, God, we trust. Or they have the nerves to put a Bible in the stand when you go into the court system mm -hmm. and say, swear upon the Bible. When they don't even buy by the rules of the scriptures, man. Right. Yeah, you can't find the Lord's spirit in there. Right. You can't find his spirit in the churches, nowhere. You know, you're going to find his spirit right here. If you're looking for the Lord, this is where you're going to find him. You want to be a lion? This is what you want to be. You want to get your lion chain? Yeah, that's right, brother. Shalom. Come on. Hey, that's right. His name is Yahweh Shah, but Shalom. Shalom. Come on. All right. Oh, there you go. I, I, I see that, spirit. We can get you. That's right. We were just going in on Nate. That's funny. Yeah. Come get your boy, Nate. Come on. Well, you got one of your members, Nate. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 your boy will be down here first class. What's up? What's up? All right. This is, this is Psalms 14. <laughs> See you later. Psalms 14 to 2. That one's trying to be quiet to do, man. You started it, too. Huh? <laughs> I was being good. All right. This is Psalms 14. Let's get it back on track. Psalms 14 to 2. What's the next scripture? The That's... Lord looked down from heaven oh. upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. Huh, and the children of men represents the uh the other nations, the heathens, man. All right, and the Lord looked down to see. One more time, Baba Yes. Talking about our nation too. Come. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see. If there were any that did understand and seek God, mm. they are all going aside. This, this is our people too. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good, no, not one. <laughs> That's on, you know, our people don't do good, man. 
because they want to follow behind the uh, b- b- follow behind Esau and the other nations, man. They they're not seeking the ways of righteousness. They're not seeking the ways of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. And when you tell them, they reject it. Mm-hmm. You know, as if it's a stain or as it's a uh, something that's harming them, man. We can get you. And real quick, and if and, and if the Lord didn't reserve a small number that stuck by and believed in His name throughout time period, time period, time period, He would just destroy all everybody on the earth. All right, but he found righteousness in one in one group of one nation, the children of Israel, and with that within that one nation, he has an elect. All right, what did he say? I, I have reserved seven thousand men that have not bowed down their face to Baal. All right, so we, you have a select number that are not that are that are, that are going to turn their back on this one because we're all worthy of death, but we had a mediator of Yahweh Shai that brought us back to the Father, man. Oh. And a righteous man named John. The voice of one crying in the wilderness, preparing the way for Yahweh Shai, man. And if I may add on to that, hey, just, just like stated earlier, you got some uh, retards out there saying that John wasn't the man of the Lord, man. Con. You know, so that's clearly state that. And, uh, that was uh, ISUPK. Con, yeah, ISUPK, yeah. And, al- and also, the brother just brought out uh, Hebrews 11 and 6 without faith is it impossible to please him. All right, so if, if, and you had an idiot that said the book of Hebrews is not valid. We going down the list. We going down the list. Like off, off the booty, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, Chuck. Yeah. Hey, you go. Hey. <laughs> Big objection. This is a book of apocryphy. Ecclesiastes 35 and 3. To depart from wickedness is a thing pleasing to the Lord Yahweh Shai, and to the forsaken unrighteousness is a propitiation. Uh, to de- depart from wickedness, hey, it, it, hey the Lord Yahweh, the Lord Yahweh, 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 I love that, man. Why? Because that's when these people turn it back to him, man. You, 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 you're rejecting the world and accepting the Lord Yahweh, 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 man. Uh, what the scriptures, the angel, the angels glory when uh one turned back to the Lord, roughly paraphrasing. Mm-hmm. I'm looking for it right now. Con. It's in Luke. Yep. Con, man. So hey, with that being said, hey, the Lord, the Lord enjoys the righteousness, I all right. Luke. Well, look, look down on the wicked. Because okay. <laughs> that wicked root is going to be rooted up, man. You're going to be destroyed if you uh, are out here uh, uh, throwing wicked. I got it. You got it. This is uh, this is Luke chapter 15, verse 10. 15, huh? Likewise, I say unto you, there is joy in the presence of the angels of Yahweh over one sinner that repenteth. Come on, man. Hey, it, it's one. just one, man. Hey, so it's joining the angels and the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, with one sinner repent of, man. Turn away from wickedness and accept that righteousness, all right? Taking off that mortal clothing and putting on the immortal, man. And hey. it's like it, go ahead. And if you read the the story um before that, that scripture right there, it talks about a son that that left his father and went out into the world, but realized there wasn't nothing out there for him. And he said, I shall return to my father where I always have meat to eat. And he returned to his father. All right, and that's a beautiful story because we're all worthy of death. But the Lord, we were brought back by Yahweh Shai, man. And there's rejoicing in that. Right, keeping that in mind where you say go back for that one, right? It's, um, this is um, Amos 9 and, um, and 9. But lo, I will command and I will sift the house of Israel among all nations, like as corn is sifted in the seed, yet shall not the least grain fall upon the earth. Con man, so hey, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is uh 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 sifting out the righteous man upon the earth, all right, through throughout every single nation, all right. Hey, but hey, the the least grain should not up, fall upon the earth, man. So with that being said, that's that one cluster of the grape that he kept from the uh, vine, all right. You know, so with that being said, uh uh uh, uh you can read that again, Buckshot. I got I had something else to say. <sighs> what was it? Uh, Amos nine. Amos nine and nine. Yeah, nine, and nine. This is Amos chapter nine, verse nine. For lo, I was falling alone. For for lo, I will mm-hmm. command and I will sift the house of Israel. Con. And, and, and what scripture says, judgment shall uh sh- 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 must start in my house first, man. All right, starting starting with the ones that know they're the nation of Israel, the ones that know they're Israelites, the one that proclaim themselves to be out here to be of the Lord, man. So hey, the judgment is starting there, man. Uh, who is that? That uh, uh dad out here teaching lies as well, man. Then we answer out the eyes on there. Uh-huh. Yeah, comfy man. You know what I'm saying? Basically saying he's the uh, 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 the God sent comforter, man. Hey, with that being said, you're gone, man. So therefore, you're not here with us no more. So that was a lie. You ex out right there, man. All right. So with that being said, hey, the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is exposing all these false camps, man. That go, all right. That go back with the precept uh, that cannot brung out that uh, in Deuteronomy, if a prophet 
uh, teach that the, teach something that the Lord have not uh, commanded him to teach. That prophet should be destroyed, mm -hmm. just God. like the rest of these other prophets. All right, Martin Luther King, all right, was a false prophet. Malcolm X was a false prophet. Uh, and, and the list goes on, man. <laughs> they go all right? black history, man. Yeah, it is. <laughs> this is the Book of Psalms, chapter seven, verse eleven. Yahweh judges the righteous, and Yahweh is angry with the wicked every day. Mm. Son, and I just brought that out to back up the brothers, man. Yahweh by Shai is going to judge the righteous, man. And he's going to make sure we're taken care of in the time of, ju of judges, man. When everything go to hell in this place and shit hits the pan. And he's, he's angry with the wicked of our people every day, man. Two thirds of the nation of Israel, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. He's angry with you and your wickedness every day. God, and good. Do do to us, if we are the ones that are supposed to keep the law, statutes, and commandments. We are his security. Is the sound on? It's nothing yeah, that we it is. I can't know, remember last time the sound that fucked up. The way that he's been up to be, man. Huh. Make sure one more time. Huh. Huh. And and the reason I guess okay. the reason why the Lord mad with our people look what they look what they do in, in the side of America. All right, they 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 promote a, a a low vibration of music. All right, talking about harming and killing each other, talking about bragging of taking a, a, another man's wife. All right, and then you got our women uh, being whores promoting a, a, a whoredom, man. All right, sleeping with from rod to rod. Saying it's the best thing that happened to them for, for leaving outside of their husband. All right. The Lord is, is upset and pissed off with our people, man. All right. And, 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 and our people feel like, oh, this is the black. This is black culture, man. Well, black means void of light, man. That's a wicked culture, man. The Lord said we are the children of light. All right. The Lord said we are the children of light. Not, not we, we was never called black, man. We was called Yasha Allah, man. Israel. And, and it's funny because they use that terminology because it describes them themselves, right? So that's why they're against us because they don't understand what light is. Mike, yes, sir. I'll check. This is Micah chapter 2 and 8. Even of late, my people is risen up as an enemy. And that so, looks like so it. Like, our people have risen up to be an enemy unto the Lord. By uh by being rebellious, man. All right, the Lord said to be rebellious unto Him is witchcraft, man. So our people have risen up to be an enemy by doing uh being contrary to the Lord, man. Come, come. Yes, go, 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 go. It's, it's the book of uh, wisdom, wisdom of Solomon, chapter three, verse nine, and it reads, it says, "They that put their trust in Him shall understand the truth, and such as be faithful in love shall abide with Him." For grace and mercy is to his saints, and he have care for his elect. So for the 144,000, the whole being elect, and the one third of the, the, children, the men, women, and children of the children of, of Israel, he said he got he got grace and mercy for you, right? And and it wasn't as they ten, ten toes down for him for the truth. All right, shall abide with him in heaven. All right. It says, but it says, but the ungodly shall be shall be punished, and according to their their own imaginations, which have neglected. Which have neglected the righteousness and forsaken the Lord. All right, it says, for whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their and their hope is vain. Their lab, their laborers is unfruitful, and their works is unprofitable. All right, so so to the one that's, that's, that's uh, which is still forsaken in the Most High, you have watching the outside, still despising him. All right, and, uh, uh, evil is gonna is gonna is gonna uh, come upon them. All right, it says it says it says um. Uh, and also, it says it's gonna, you're going to be uh, miserable. So, so, then, so in the times of, of Jacob's trouble, our people are going to, going to be uh, miserable. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they're not going to have that, that true hope. You know? Come on. And, and you have Hashem that was shot. And if I may add on, it says, and they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth, man. All right, so guess what? It's a lot of y'all set yourself short already. Oh, who are you putting your trust in, man? Because you're out here, oh, man, the Lord's name is not given. That him has a name, man. All right, now him is clearly stated. Jeremiah chapter 17. So who are you doing that? Who are you doing all this work for, man? You know, like I said the other day, for instance, I U I C, man. Uh, 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 the name of the Lord not given. What's it? Uh, how do you obtain salvation, man? How, how do you obtain salvation then? Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, who are you doing it for? Who are you wearing the fringes for? Cause that's all y'all worry about, you know. Where your fringes? Where your fringes? Who are you putting fringes on for, man? Y'all doing it for Nate, man. That's the whole face of y'all congregation, all right. You know, it, it's not the Lord Yahweh by some Yahweh son. Y'all don't try to seek his face. Y'all seek his face, man. Y'all seek Nate the snake face. Yeah. Try to please him. I U I C again. Yeah.
This is Jeremiah chapter 10, verse so like This is Jeremiah chapter 13, verse 10. This evil people which refuse to hear my words, which walk in the imagination of their heart and again. walk after other gods to serve them and to worship them, shall even be as this girdle, which is good for nothing. <laughs> Come on, man. Hey, that's two statements of our people, man. You know what I'm saying? Hey, walking after the, the, the uh, other gods, all right? Falling after these uh, other nations, all right? That's what scripture says. Hey, and the vision of the whole nation, he said a ruler over every people. But Israel is the Lord's portion, man. Hey, but two thirds of our people, they don't consider, all right? Like it says, uh, what is it, Isaiah? All right, the ox know if it's owner and the ass is master crib, but Israel, my people, don't not consider. They don't care, man. They don't care about who's supposed to be over them. They just want to sit out here, this bitch, and run freely, man. You know? They, they don't care. This is Sirach. Chapter um, 17, verse 10. And the elect, the elect shall praise his holy name. Come on, man. And, they, and that's what we hope for, to be of that uh, number, man. Why? Because we're getting out here exalting the name of the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, man. You know, like in the book of 2nd Andrews, chapter 2. All right? The, the ones that stood so boldly for the name of the Lord, stiffly, man. Firm. We're not moving on that, man. The name of the Lord is Yahweh. The son's name is Yahweh Shah, man. <clears throat> We ain't no moving in that, all right? He said this is his memorial to all generations. So with that being said, hey, it's going to be refreshed time after time after time, like in Wisdom of Solomon chapter 7, man, when that wisdom come in and refresh itself to make itself new and to his prophets, man. Like Scripture said, the spirit of the prophets is subject unto the prophets. So guess what? The prophets that were following the Lord, Yahweh Shah back then, you damn right, they knew his name, man. So that's what? We're going to know his name today. Okay. It's Matthew 18 and 20, for where two or three are gathered, together in my name Come, but two or three or more are gathered in my name so therefore if the name of the lord not given you damn right he's not with you man so how are you saying oh you the lord with y'all but y'all don't even know, know his name man he's not with y'all that's like for instance you hear the sermons right there man if you don't call the correct number you're not going to get any assistance for your needs all right so therefore the same thing with the lord if you're not calling on the proper name you're not going to get any help you're not going to get any assistance in that time man people doubt yeah man. what he said uh, and that's such a disrespectful thing to refer to, to Yahweh Shai as a he or a him. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I was just watching the uh, Bernie Mac um, uh, uh, old uh, stand-up of him when he was talking about the little two-year-old referring to him downstairs. Right? You know what I'm saying? Like, I ain't even got a name. That's how the Lord feels about people that don't want to reference his name, man. Like, oh, I ain't got a name? You want to be delivered, but I ain't got a name now, right? Done. And, and if I may add on, all right, our old people, man, you, you fuck up and call Luna wrong, and guess what? That's not my name, and they'll sit there and ignore you. Mm -hmm. Hey, guess what? We are the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Hey, that same attitude, that same way of ways come from him. So, therefore, if you're not calling upon him by his correct name, shit, he ain't going to hear you either. I, and, and you Jake's talking about the name don't matter. Call your woman by the wrong name and see what happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The, uh, the Abigail. He walked up on the elder of uh, the house of David, all right, the whole unity camp thing, all right. He was offended by that guy's uh, calling uh, Nathaniel by his name. Uh, that's their Lord, man. That's who they'll defend out there, but they won't defend the Lord. Y'all will buy man. You right. know, they'll, they'll defend him uh, uh, day in and day out, all right. They always give homage to him. Oh, uh, yeah, Nick said this, Nick said that. The Lord said this, man. Do him the Lord's scriptures, man. He don't got shit to do with him, all right? He's just playing his part by leading you astray, mm -hmm. all right? Being that hireling. Uh, we're going to call him Nigga Nigga Thane. Nigga Ah, yes. <laughs> this, this is uh, St. John's chapter 17. I'm going to start at verse 6. It says, I have manifest thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thou they were, and thou... Gave us them me, and they have kept thy word. Come on. What, what, verse 6. Mm -hmm. So come on, man. That's the Lord Yahweh Shah praying to the Father, Yahweh, that he manifested his name to the men which thou hast given him, man. All right, you go to verse 26, Mubakasha. Verse 26. Like same, same time. Uh, Back in uh, St. John's chapter 17, verse 26, it says, I have declared unto them thy uh, name, and will declare. Oh, I got an iPhone. I got to go get my thing out. The, the love. Where wit thou hast loved me, may be in them as I am them. So come on, man. That's, that's the Lord Yahweh Shah praying to the Father that he has revealed the Father name to the men which has been given to him out of the world, man. So once again, Yahweh watches out. We're part of that number, man. Hey, folks, so that lets you know that the name of the Lord is given, man. Also, I got to get my iPhone plug.
Broad is the way that <laughs> come, man. And then on top of that, uh, uh, speaking of that wide gate, man, hey, what, what scripture says uh, uh, you should worship uh, uh, wood and stone, that wood being representation of Christianity. I and guess it. what? You go to uh, 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 IUIC Tax Sunday, guess what? They're up under there as the Christians, all right? They're a Christian group, you know? That's why they got the damn dance, praise team and shit. It's nothing different from your traditional church, man. You know what I'm saying? It's just the same thing, man. Praising Zeus, same thing going on and on, man. Right. The Lord has a name. Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Hey, and the proof of it is one one of IUIC members just walked by. Come. What do you say? Most high in Christ blessed. Come. Come. That shit like <laughs> nails to a chalkboard to me, man. With a mask on. Yeah, yeah he had a mask on too. Family. family had a mask on. Outside. Confusion, man. What's good to say? A, a plague should not come near thy house, not thy dwelling, man. Roughly paraphrasing. Like so cake. therefore, if you con, man, uh, 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 us face, us faith, faith-based council, man. Hey, we have faith in the Lord. Y'all will buy shim, y'all will say. That's why we have to stand boldly. Why? Because we stand bold for this truth. So therefore, the Lord is going to protect us from this, uh, 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 these plagues and whatnot they have for you, man. For two thirds, like the elder said, he rather them than he rather us, man. So with that being said, hey. Two thirds go, Yahweh Ross is our two thirds go before we do, because why? We're doing the things that are pleasing to the Lord, man. We can get you. Fine, demon. Hey, look at this. Um, 13. Seven, Matthew 17, or 7 and 13. Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Come the Lord on, man. said, What? Uh, uh, the slain of the Lord shall be many. Come on. He said, uh, many there be that, that goes into this way of destruction, man. Why? Because there's many lies out here. There's many books, many teachers, many false prophets. Cool. That's all leading to, to y'all many people to damn destruction. <laughs> it says, um, beware of false prophets. See, the Lord warned us about people like Nate and, and all his cronies in his camp. We come to you in sheep's clothing, see? They're going to come to you saying that they're men of the Lord. They're going to come to you saying that they're Israelites. Huh. But, but you got to judge a tree by its fruits, by its fruit, and, and by the doctrine that it bears. All right? Beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing, but inwardly they are ravening wolves, man. Ye shall know them by their fruits. <laughs> and that's the point. Con. Con, man. And, 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 and their fruits, hey. Uh, 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 they get tape ups that go against the law that they so-called preach day in and day out. You know they say you justify it, but we're supposed to keep it to the best of our ability. But yeah, they, they, they tape up be sharper than the uh, damn razor blade, man. You know. Let them know too, you know Come on, man. And we out here to represent the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Those are the chosen people of the Lord. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, which is the true name of the Lord, man. Who are uh, uh, Lord Yahweh Shah? Who are people eagerly called Jesus Christ, man? Which is his true name, man. You gotta turn back and repent, all right? For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. All right, you see these things breaking out right now, man. Undeniable truth, undeniable prophecy. You can't deny what's going on out here, man. All right, these, these scriptures are not lying, all right? Peace up. Done. This is uh, Revelations chapter 22, verse 6. He said unto me, these sayings are faithful and true. Done. These and sayings are faithful and true, man. So with that being said, like, like, like scripture says, hey, his words should not return to him void. So by them being true, they're going to accomplish what which he have spoken, man. They're going to come to pass. And the Lord Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh, God of the holy prophets, 
sent his angels to show unto his servants the things which must shortly be done. Behold, I come quickly. Blessed is he that keep the sayings of, of the prophecies of this book. Come on, man. Blessed is he that keep the sayings of the prophecy of this book, man. So therefore, getting out here, presenting your body as a living sacrifice, warning the Lord's people, man. All right, what's to come? All right, the RFID chip. All right, they got that coming. All right, finna be pushed on the mass scale. All right, therefore, if you don't take it, you won't be able to buy or sell according to Revelation 13, 16 through 17. I man. got it. Grab it. This is Revelations chapter 13. I'm going to start at verse 15. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, Come that on. the image of the beast shall both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast. Come on, this system, man. All right. Uh -huh. Shall be killed. And he caused all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or Come in on. their forehead. So it don't matter your status, don't matter who you are, don't matter how much money you got, don't matter how little you got. Hey, he calls them all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark. And when you go into that word mark, it goes back to the Greek, which means karakma, which means cut or incision, man. All right, it goes back to the uh, Hebrew, kwakwa. All right, so with that being said, hey, if you get anything put inside of your hand, man, you're going to be numbered to that sword, man. All right, according to Revelation chapter 14, all right? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark of the, of the name of the beast. So con, man, so that no man might buy or sell, say he that had the mark of, of, of the beast. So therefore, if you don't have it, you won't be able to make any transactions, man. So that lets us know that that's going to be the new monetary system, all right? So therefore, it can't be a cell phone because you can't eject the cell phone into your damn hand, man. It can't be an embargo because that has nothing to do with us. That has to do with trades. All right. So therefore, it has to be exactly what we say it is, man. What scripture told us is what the spirit told us it is, man. <laughs> this is uh, Sirach chapter 20, verse 10. There is a gift that shall not profit thee. And there is a gift whose recompense is double. Come on, man. There's a gift that shall not profit thee, but there's a gift that shall recompense double. All right, so come on, man. Getting out here doing the work of the Lord. Y'all will buy some, y'all will shine. Hey, we're going to uh, uh, reap double. Why? Because, hey, the things that we lost on this side, we're going to gain again, man. All right, by doing the things that are pleasing to the Lord, man. Why? Because we put off that, uh, 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 we denied ourselves, all right, and, and, and took on the Lord, man. Took upon that uh, cross. Took upon his will, man, presenting our bodies as a living sacrifice. Right. All right, but that one gift, hey, it's, it's gonna, it's gonna be destruction for it, man. Kind Why? Because that, Esau, uh, any, anything that the government gives, the money, the chip, anything that they're offer, offering is not profitable for us. Come, come, you know. And that, that's the point. You know, come, like scripture say, warn to them that go down into Egypt for help, man. You going down, like they say, hey, don't bite the hand that feeds you. Well, that's not the hand that's feeding you, man. That's the hand that's poisoning you. So with that being said, you should be biting the shit out of it, man. But guess what? <laughs> Our people are caressing it, man. They're, they're, they're taking care of it, all right? Like scripture says, they're preparing the table for that troop, all right? Instead of setting up that table for the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It's Luke 12 and 47. And that servant, which knew his Lord's will, and prepared not himself, neither did according to his will, shall be beaten with many stripes <clears throat> you know that's just the lamb back off the uh the scripture the elder got man because you got those in the fold who claim themselves to be teachers elders all right of these uh abcd camps all right without the sound doctrine all right they know the will of the lord but they have uh they have uh turned away from it man you have bishop nate uh preaching once preaching the name all right that shows hey he, he he's not of the lord man you know he, he he was once preaching the name and now he uh denouncing the name all right that's somebody that's gonna be beat, be beaten with many stripes, man. <clears throat> Cause he knows he knows the will of the Lord. It's better for him not to know the way of righteousness, man, from the beginning. Right. Come on, appreciate. That's basically a, a dog turning back onto his vomit. Cause uh, you got brothers uh, that don't even come out and teach no more. You know, uh, they, they, their their excuse is they women, their children, or or their job. But the Lord said, if you love your your father or mother more than me, you're not worthy of me. You love your, your your son or your daughter more than me. You're not worthy of me. So you come shouldn't on. put nothing before this 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 work, man. That the Lord commissioned His men to come out here and teach, man. There's no excuses. Come on. Uh, and if I may add on, man, it was a brother from Minnesota a few years ago. He gave the best analogy. All right, for that scripture, man. All right, so it's basically you and the Lord, man. Y'all going in. Y'all got a setup. The Lord, Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, gave you the whole blueprint, man. Gave you all His plans. All right. 
But yet, you turn your back on them, all right? You back out of it, all right? Once you get downtown to the nitty gritty, you back out. So with that being said, you back out from the Lord. He done showed you his face. He done showed you himself. He done revealed himself to you. You know who he is, man. All right, you know what he's going to do. So therefore, hey, you getting out here stealing this information, he got to get rid of you, man. So hey. Will of the Lord, man. It's the same thing, man. You're going to be number to the sword. Right. And, and, we, and we got to... And when we tell people to turn back to the Lord, you got to show them how to do it. Go on. All right. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 15. To show thyself approved unto Yahweh, a workman that, sh that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So Go that's, on. The, that's the first step. You got to start studying. All right. You got to begin studying, man. Just like uh, 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 Peter starts reading. You see that? So. The Lord said, what? Children, eat your eat your bread because it's all falling down. What's falling down? That manna from heaven. All right. So he said, what? What's the first thing you got to do? You got to turn back to the Lord. But how do you turn back to him? You got to know his name so you know who you're turning back to. And you got to study to show yourself approved to him so he can deal with you. Hey, and, and that's the this perfect setup. All right. Start with the apostles of Great Millstone on down in the camps like ourselves. Right. Right. Hey, all individually, we, we, we have to do videos, man. You know, it shows that we got to study individually to understand, hey, rightly divide the word of truth, man. Right. These uh, other camps, they don't study, all right? They just go like a Christian church, like a big old congregation and sit there and just take a heed to the lies, man. All right? They don't study. If they study to show that stuff approved, they'll be able to cross-examine their teachers, man, and try the spirit by the spirit. They, they'll be able to have questions, and they'll be coming with those questions to their uh, death. Uh, from Apocrypha. This is the book of Ecclesiastes 34 and 13. The spirit, the spirit of those that fear the Lord should live, for their hope is in him that saved them. Come man, the spirit of those that fear the Lord shall live, man. Why? Because our, our hope is in him that saved us, man. That's where our salvation comes. That's where our help comes from, man. All right? In our time of tribulation, in our time of trouble, guess what we're going to do? Call upon the name of the Lord, man. Proverbs 18 to 10. The name of the Lord, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run up into it and it's safe, man. So guess what? In that in that time of trouble, we're going to call upon that strong pavilion, man, for our succor, all right? For that safe pavilion, all right? That safe place, which is the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. All right? Just, uh, I got a precept to back up your point. Uh, this is the book of Titus, chapter 1, verse 10. It says, For there are many unruly and vain talkers and deceivers, especially they of the circumcision, whose mouths must be stopped, who subvert whole houses, wow. teaching things which they ought not for filthy lucre's sake. God, they, they say their mouths have to be stopped, man, because they what? Preaching for filthy lucre's sake, man. And that's that, that's that's clearly talking about these uh these wicked scribes and Pharisees, man. These, these wicked people of our nation, man. You see Bishop Nate down at the bottom, man. The <laughs> clean of the crop. What, what scripture say? Put, put, put the silence, the uh, ignorance of foolish men, man. Put the silence, man. Why? Because it needs not to be heard, man. It, it, it's just lies, deceit. Hey, All but right? the Lord, ultimately, he got him out here for a while to do hey, his deed, man. To lead those sheep that's supposed to be led astray, to be led astray. Come on. I just, uh, so like, yeah. just to add on to that, you know, the Lord said he's going to judge his house first, man. He's going to judge the quick and the dead, man. All right, the quick is the ones that know, the ones that's of the circumcision, and the dead, two thirds of our people that still are remaining in the congregation of the dead and wander out of the way of understanding, man. So that, so, so the Lord is gonna deal with each and every one of y'all, man. You know, those that have sold out, man, because y'all got too much blood on y'all hands, man. All right, y'all, y'all, y'all creating zombies out here, man. Damn, yeah. con, hey, y'all got too much blood on your hands, and the only way to wash it off is with the water, man, that y'all don't have. Or fire. Yep. <laughs> and you know the scriptures say uh, thou shalt not suffer a witch to live God. this is 1st Samuel 15 to 23 for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of Yahweh he have also rejected thee from being king and that you got it and that's that that was uh, 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 uh samuel speaking unto saul because yep. saul went to go get a, a damn witch you know the the deal with familiar spirits to try to conquer up uh, uh samuel man yep. after Come he on. passed man yeah and that's what and that's what his rebellion is counted as what witchcraft you see that so anybody that rebels against the truth they're looked at as a witch or a warlock
Stubbornness is counted as idolatry, man. So by you keeping that stiff neck, not listening to the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, man. Hey, that shows that you're not of him. You're showing that you're of, of the world, uh, 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 pleasing to him. All right, so therefore, hey, you're numbered amongst the ones that are listening to these, uh, uh, them, them. False prophets. <laughs> these boys. These motherfuckers. Run. Run. Uh, keep running. Yeah. Yeah. I got one. Yeah. All right. It's going to touch on a uh, point that Zaquan had brought out earlier, like study self approve. How do you first you start about repenting? All right, and um, there's steps to um, take to turn back to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. And he gave us uh, the list of steps, the checklist right here. Okay. This is um, Psalms 51 and 6. It says, Behold, thou desirest truth in the inward parts. Right. So you have to, you have, your mind has to be accepted of the truth before you can even go out there and teach anybody. Because if you don't, you'll be teaching lies. It says, And in the hidden part, thou shalt make me to know wisdom. Purge me with his soap, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. And how do you, and what is he talking about? Washing with the word, man. Studying to show yourself approved. Because if the Lord's sitting down there supping with you when you're studying, right, you're going to be rightfully dividing the word of truth. Like a knife, like you rightfully like cut off the fat off the meat and take the good portion to eat. You know, quick, quick injection. All right, because a, a part of studying is also reading. All right, eating the whole roll, like the Lord told. This is uh Revelation chapter one verse three. Blessed is he that readeth and they that hear the words of this prophecy and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand, man. You got it. Because the time is at hand. We're in the time of. Of, of the Lord finna show up. So what, what manner of conversation should you be in seeing all this stuff that's gonna be dissolved? Mm, Preset. All right. Okay. Just go with what y'all doing. Come on. Come. Y'all can speak on it too. Come. Jeremiah 6 and 16. Thus saith Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see, and ask for the old path. Come. Where is the good way, and walk therein? So you have individuals like Abraham, Moses, Noah. All right, those are the paths that Yahweh uh, Shem Yahweh was talking about. Because even in those times, you have wicked amongst our people. But the, but Noah, um, Abraham, Moses, um, um, Joshua, these were, they were Yahweh Shai were examples of that old righteous path that we're supposed to go down, and that we're supposed to seek, and that's seeking the face of Yahweh. Wait, I got a little bit more on this card. Thus saith Yahweh, stand in the ways and see, and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? And walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. So this ain't but, the place that we'll, a little bit more. But they said, we will not walk therein. Also, I set watchmen over you, saying, hearken to the sound of the trumpet. But they said, we will not hearken. Right, so they're not listening to the warning signs and the beckoning that's called that's from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. They choose, they choose not to listen. They want to revert to them doing their own thing. And there, there's a way that seems right unto a man, but the ways are the end, the, are, are the end thereof is death, man. God. So they're walking down the road of, of destruction when the Lord's trying to show them how to walk the righteous path to salvation. Because he, he said what? Ask for the old path, man. How you do that? All right, the Lord said, if, if if a man like wisdom going to him and, and that give of wisdom, man, you going to him in prayer, man. And he says what? He says, uh, he says, and you will find rest. All right, how you found rest in these scriptures, man? All right, because like Isaiah uh, chapter twenty-eight, he says, uh, this way he called the weary to rest. All right, so how you would get understanding of these scriptures is by studying these precepts, man, by reading. All right, precept upon precept, man. How are you going to be able to understand and attain this wisdom and understanding? Come on. Uh, uh, what it say? Seek the old path. Say, seek the old path. Uh, 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 like looking at the generations old. We're verting back the scriptures, man. Uh, I got a quick, quick interjection real yeah, quick. We got two guys. Come on, all right. Um, it said, this is uh, Sirach chapter 44, and I'm going to start at verse 10. It said, but these were merciful men whose righteousness have not been forgotten. It says, Enoch pleased the Lord and was translated being an example of repentance to all generations. And that's an example of seeking the old paths, man. Look at the ancient, look at the ones all, who, who followed the path of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai in those days and was ever confounded, all right? Only for prophecy's sake, all right? So so he said, this time touch not my anointing, no anointing and do my prophets no harm. Come on. And the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the Israelites of the Holy Bible. 
We need to turn back to the Father whose name is Yahweh and his son's name is Yahweh Shah, man. This is for us, man. The whole world is against us. This is this is the you want to find peace with the Father, man. You gotta get, get that through Yahweh Shah. Come on. Verse 17, it says, Noah, Noah was found perfect and righteous in the time of Rab. He was taken in exchange for the world. Therefore was he left as a remnant unto the earth when the flood came. All right, and that's how and that's who that's who the righteous come through. All come from Noah, but um, the, the, it all, it's only about Israel. And within Israel, it's only about the elect of Israel, man. So we're out here on the highways and byways to, to, to blow the trumpet, rightfully blowing the trumpet, because what? If the trumpet gives an uncertain sound, who shall prepare themselves for the battle? ICPK is not telling people to prepare. They're trying to build communities here. And community is devil worship, too. IUIC is not trying to warn the people. They're telling them, Jacob, there ain't going to be no trouble in time. All right, but it said the scripture says it shall be great insurrection of those that fear the name of the Lord, man. Come We can get going. Appreciate it. Got one right there. Appreciate that. Still got this corn. There you go. This is Proverbs 1 and 2. To know wisdom and instruction, to perceive the words of understanding, to receive the instruction of wisdom, justice and judgment and equity, to give subtly. To the simple, uh -huh. to the young man, knowledge and discretion, discretion. discretion. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. So a each one, like it. each one, reach one, teach one. All right, to understand a proverb, to know a dark saying, that's 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 giving you getting wisdom right there, and it only comes from Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. All right, according to was it Revelation 22, or what's one Revelation 21? But that, that's how you obtain wisdom. And from that, from obtaining the wisdom strictly from the from the Yahweh Shai, having that Holy Spirit, then you go out there and teach others other ways and, to, and show them the old paths. All right? But you have to be sent to teach. You got a lot of individuals out here like on this side, they were not sent to teach. They do it for filthy lucre's sake, man. I got some more on this uh, song. I bring it up. Got some more. You got a little bit in the middle of the precinct. Oh, it's lucky. Come on. A wise man will hear and will increase learning. A man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsels. To understand a proverb and the interpretation of the words. So that just shows you that the, the, the ones that are following these other false camps, man, they're not wise. It's that a wise man will hear and then increase in learning. All right, so if they had the spirit of discernment, they would be able to say, nah, you wicked, you're going off. And they will call them out on it because what does it say? Mark them to call division. Contrary to the doctrine which you have learned. Come Obviously, on. they haven't learned it. And, and, and if I may add on, scripture say, learn from learned men, man. Like Apostle Dahar said, like the, uh, me myself being a babe in the truth, but like these other young cats that come out here and they set up their own shop, man. Hey, how you just gonna come out here? So you telling me that the apostle that was before us, all right, they just got it wrong, you know? Y'all coming out here with it being right, you know? I mean, hey, man, y'all just come out and just say everybody completely wrong, man. Adam Abbott, goddamn, uh, 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 I forgot the other little dude name. That's good, you forgot, because they ain't yeah, for it. They ain't for it. Keep rocking, bro. Keep rocking. Come on. It was more than that. That was it. All right. Go ahead. It's Amos, chapter 9, verse 2. Though they dig into hell, then shall my hand take them. Come Though they climb up to heaven, then will I bring them down. Come because you got these uh top elite bankers, all right? That's uh, building these underground bunkers, all right, building up up their uh, space force up in the heavens, all right. But the Lord said when he come back, he's going to tear down their space force, man. Like it's prophesied that the angels and, and, and the archangel uh, uh, Michael and Yahusha are going to make, uh, they're going to uh, battle against these damn devils, all right. And we're going to uh, take them out of their bunkers, man. All right. So this is prophesied, man. So the Lord said he's coming to tear down, uh, uh, to tear down Esau's kingdom. All right, and to throw down, man. Come on. Yes, come, on. come on, one more. Verse 3. And though they hide themselves in the top of caramel, I will search and take them out thence. Come on. And they, it's like you. And though they be hid from my sight in the bottom of the sea, thence will I command the serpent, and he shall bite them. And what's that serpent, man? All right, because even when they all uh, underneath the ground, under the water, right, the Lord is going to command Leviathan. All right, who they uh, make a movie, uh, say Godzilla, which is Leviathan is real in the scriptures. He's going to command that serpent to, uh, to, to destroy them when he under the under the ocean, man. God. All right, so there's no way for Esau, these elites, 
all right, to escape from the wrath and the judgment that the Lord is going to bring, man. All right? Precept. This is Sirach chapter 12, verse 6. For the Most High hated sinners and will repay vengeance unto the ungodly and keepeth them against the mighty day of their punishment. You got it. So the Most High, he hates sinners. He hates it. That means perpetually hate. He's continuously hating sinners. Not we that, said, so like, not that uh, Christianity uh, BS yeah. saying he ate the sin and not the sinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He says he will repay vengeance unto the ungodly. Vengeance is, is judgment. Like the brother, like the brother the ball was saying. He saw when he all down there in the depths of the ocean. He gonna send Lord, Lord gonna send Leviathan to get him up out of there. <laughs> you know, and that's vengeance. And he keepeth them against the mighty day of the Lord. Oh, Meaning God. he's preserving. Peace up. Got it? Yeah. This is uh Jeremiah. Uh, just keep you on your point with vengeance. This is Jeremiah chapter 51, verse 6. Flee out of the midst of Babylon and deliver every man his soul. Be not cut off in her iniquity. For this is the time of the Lord's vengeance. He will recompense unto her. Uh, like it. The time of the Lord's vengeance. He will render unto her a recompense. So flee from the midst of Babylon, meaning flee spiritually. Don't don't flee physically because whether you know it or not, if you say you leave here and you slide over there to Israel, where's well, Edomites over there? They're going to get judged over there too. So that place is going to get judged too. Wherever you go, you're not going to escape the judgment of Yahweh by Shemiah yeah. Shah. But it's saying flee from this place spiritually so that you don't get caught up in the destruction and the judgment of this place because this place is nothing but spiritually Sodom and uh, Egypt. Everything that they did in Sodom and Gomorrah, ancient, everything that they did in ancient Egypt, they doing now. And these things will destroy you with a sword of destruction. Uh, 501c3 Incorporated Church is uh, Proverbs 29, 18 through 20. Proverbs 29, 18 through 24. Whoever is a partner with the thief Ooh. hates his own life. Ooh. He swears to tell the truth, but reveals nothing. Come on, man. Hey, so like you said, he took it to the uh, uh, 501c3, man. So hey, those of you who, who, who tell the truth, man, hey, with that 501c3 was a gag order signed by Lyndon Johnson in 1963, man. So with that being said, hey, they, they tell you what you can and cannot say, man. You can't say anything going against America. All right, they put a stamp on that uh, uh, after the whole uh, 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 the whole uh, uh, capital uh, invasion. All right, when they uh, passed the NDAA, giving that uh, Department of Defense military power, what well, even more might, man. So by you going against the truth, hey, they they got the right to take away your citizenship. So forth and so forth, man. But hey, I guess y'all uh, uh, y'all don't have to worry about that. Why? Because y'all in cahoots with them, man. Y'all in cahoots with the wicked, you know. And then the first one that they're gonna go after, when um when um because they're they're cracking down on domestic terrorism. <laughs> God. And you're under the order that 501 C three charter, right? You're considered. We're, they all try to label us under um black Hebrew Israelites, but you trying to you trying to throw them off with that Islam or Christianity putting it under that but you still label because of the things you speak so oh. so now they you giving them easy access to come come scoop your behind up and we just want to say this we are not black at all God. we are a hebrew speaking israelites man God. all right because uh hebrew is our language and israelites is is, is our nationality man God. thus you get the terminology hebrew israelite not black hebrew israelite and that's it's like it. I mean, you cut you you I'm saying, that, and that 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 all uh, black is just a code word for them to to use in their legislation to try and come and use force against men with books in their hands. And that go back to the curses, man. That the Lord said we was going to be called uh, uh, by words and proverbs, man. All right, that that we was not going to be called by our holy names, man. Go back to Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 37. All right, so th th we fit the curses, man. All right, the Lord said that this was going to be a sign and a wonder uh, upon our our, 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 our forefathers' seeds forever, man, and which are we are our forefathers, man. All right, coming back in the flesh, man. So we are back here again in the flesh, teaching His word, man. And Esau, which is the forefather of the Caucasian race, which are the biblical Edomites, the Lord said He's going to take down their kingdom, man. All right, that that so-called black man, all right, in the, in, in the heavens, which is His name, is Yahweh Shai, man. Which is gonna rise up against the prey. That 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 that's why these elites they're afraid of, of the men of the Lord. They're afraid of the things that we are saying because they are true. Uh, faithful and true. Appreciate it. Uh, you got it. Okay, this is book of Isaiah 32 and 16. The judgment should the world. 
in the wilderness and the righteousness remain in the fruitful field. Uh, and the Lord, and, and that fruitful field is, is being in these scriptures. And Esau made the whole world a wilderness. The whole world is in a state of confusion. All right, so the Lord is going to destroy that. But, but he, he created a little sanctuary for his elect. All right, and we're gonna eat out of that vineyard. We're gonna we're gonna prosper with through His Word, man. That's how He's setting us up for salvation. Lord, only when I'm part of the number. Come on. Uh, precept. Yeah, go ahead and cut that one. Start a new. Uh, hey, we're gonna cut it and start a new. Okay. Woo! Are you doing this all week, boy? Huh? Thanks for that, bro.